Hey everybody, this is Dan from Dan's Collectibles, and this I'm about to open now is box number one of the nickels. It's part of my 500 subscriber giveaway. If you don't know what that is, I'll have a link to that below. So I'm doing a big 500 subscriber giveaway where I'm going through boxes of nickels and pennies and putting together some of those Whitman folders for the uh, Lincoln Sense and the Jefferson Nickels. And I got a bunch of other prizes as well, coins, sports cards, stuff like that. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe, go to the other video, watch that, follow the rules and how to enter. And I will bring you in when I open this puppy up and we'll get right to the hunt. Thanks. Okay, I just opened this box and doesn't it look like it's short if you rolls? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like it might be short a couple of rolls. As soon as you pick this up, there's like a gap in here. I think I'm short two, maybe three rolls. That's unbelievable. I'll have to count the wrappers later. Yeah. If you're not getting... It seems like I'm always getting short changed with nickels and pennies. I don't know what's going on. But hey, if they do that to everybody, think how much money these companies make ripping people off. All right. I'll dive into this and see what we find. All right, roll number one, off to a good start. I already looked at the date because it was face up, but we got a 1941. Philadelphia, pretty slick on the back, but hey. All right, put it up on the board, bring it back. Okay, I'm in roll two, and I've already found, let me see here, my first foreign, coin from Bermuda, 2003, like the fish. Found a 54. Denver and a 68 San Francisco. All right, bring you back. In. Okay, still in roll two, just have another find. 1948 Denver Mint. Don't get too many 48s with mint marks, so that's cool. All right, put it off to the side. All right, roll three, and we found a 1952 Denver. It's got some scuff marks there, as you can see. But hey, not bad. All right, bring it on the next find. Okay, roll 12, and we got to find a 1942, unfortunately, no silver. But still, Philadelphia. All right, and previously I found some other coins. This is a 2015. Uh, it's got this gold toning to it. I don't think it was a gold plated, but I'm gonna look at it a little closer. Because the gold platings wear off real quick. So, once they're into circulation, it really wears off. So, I don't know. Could be. I'm gonna uh, double check it. And I found a 2009 Philadelphia. And a really cool looking 2000 Denver. Great detail, nice shine to it. A little bit ding up this that scratch, but other than that, it's got the full steps. Looks really nice, so I, I don't know. Might keep it. All right, bring you in on the next. Okay, let's see. It's been a while since I had some decent finds. Let's see, roll 19. We got a 1940, Philadelphia. And in the past few rolls, I found a 57 Denver and a 58 Denver. All right. All right, roll 21. This is very strange, doesn't happen very often, but pulled out a 1940. And then when I looked at it, the one right behind it was a 1939. No mint mark, Philadelphia in here. I'll put this under the scope, but it doesn't appear to be any doubling on the Monticello with the five cents, so. And then, behind it, the one was really dirty, so I thought I'd take a look at it. And that's a 58 Denver. Three <laughs> old dates in a row. Very funny, huh? All right, bring it back in on the next five. Roll 22, and we got another 1940 here. Philadelphia. All right, bring it back. All right, roll 23, another find here. 
1941, Philadelphia. Boy, these nickels are just all worn to pieces on the back here. Let's see. All right, bring you on the next one. Roll 27. We've got a 1946 Philadelphia. And then in the past few rolls, I've found a few other things. 1959, Denver. 1952, that's a Denver as well. Nice looking one, nice and shiny. Another 2009, Philadelphia. This one's got a lot of dings in it. And the second farm of the box, a 1987 Canadian. All right, bring it back in. All right, let's see, we're at roll 36. We got a 1948. Philadelphia. And then in some earlier rolls, found 1953, San Francisco, that's cool. 56, Denver. And a 57, Philadelphia. All right, bring you back in next one. All right, roll 40, we got a find here. Found another 1939. No mint mark, and boy, is that worse, worn smooth. Wow. And then look right behind it. We've got another Canadian, 1994. All right, and he was here over here are some earlier finds from the last few rolls. In 1958, Philadelphia. 1964, that looks pretty good. Steps are gone, but it's nice and shiny. It looks better in person than under this light. And a 1968 San Francisco. All right, bring you in on the next finds. All right, rule 41. And I was about to open this because I couldn't tell from the ender what this was. And as I crack it, it's a 1954. So when I open this, we'll see what the mint mark is. Okay, so I pulled this out of the roll. And it's a 54 Denver. All right, bring you back in the next one. All right, roll 44. I got a 1941. Whoop. Philadelphia. All right, let's see what else we find here. All right, roll 46. Got a couple of finds here. 41. Philadelphia. 54. Denver. And a 56. Philadelphia. All right, be back with anything else. All right, roll 47, and we got our first silver. 1944, Philadelphia. Pretty slick, but I will take it. And then look at this, right behind it is a 1958 Denver. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Because, uh, as I suspected, this box was short three rolls, so I don't think there's anything else in here. It doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to do the wrap-up. I'll come back. All right, so here's the wrap-up. Two 1939s, three 1940s, four 1941s, a 42... 44 Philadelphia silver, 48P, 48D, got a 52P, a 54S, 56, 56D, 57, 57D, 58, 58D, 46, oops, wrong pile, okay, 46, and four 59Ds, also, 52S and a 53S. Those are cool. 
decent looking 64 for 1968s two 2009Ps. We got a Bermuda, two Canadians. And that's about it. So, not a great box, but not too bad either. Got an assortment of dates there. A couple of San Francisco's, which is nice from the 50s. And then that silver 44. Philadelphia, not bad. All right. Well, if you haven't done so already, please click like, subscribe, leave a comment. And don't forget to check out the original video for the giveaway. So you got to watch that, follow the instructions in order to enter. Thanks for watching.